Welcome back to one of your first updates of the day. It's transfer deadline day here at the West Ham Network, and we are fully expecting or hoping that West Ham are going to be busy today because, as we all know, we've come to the last day of the transfer window and we still haven't brought in a signing. We need that much-needed strength and depth in the squad. I'm going to put the faith in the process. I have to put the faith in the process. That's just where I'm at. But I know from looking at social media already this morning, there's already people just giving up on the situation and, and, and thinking this is the end of our um, the end of our season. But I'm really, really hopeful that we will see movement in the market today and, 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 and praying that we'll see some movement in the market today. You can see from below, um, there's some updates on some players who potentially are going here, there or everywhere. Um, and later on, I mean, it's going to be a, a fun packed day at the West Ham Network. We'll have several shows. I know Russ is doing a show later on this afternoon and we'll have a transfer um, deadline day special starting later on this evening. I reckon it's going to be on about seven o'clock all the way through to the end with several guests, cool guests, special guests, you name it. You you never know who's going to come on when you join the West Ham Network. Like I said before, though, if you're new around here, please go and subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up and, yeah, keep the comments coming in. It is a brief update of things just to let people know where we're at and potentially where we may be. But however, I am just Anton. I'm just sitting in my living room and I'm not an ITK and I'm not a scout and I'm not all that sort of stuff. However, I'll try to bring you all the news that's together. So we are facing um, a fight against time after we reportedly last night agreed a deal for this man. And it is the Benfica um, goal machine, Darwin Nunes. West Ham's hierarchy are working hard on the dying minutes and hours of the transfer window. And we've had approaches for Leeds United pair Rafinha and Calvin Phillips reportedly. I want to say that though, reportedly not back. And we are still pursuing reinforcements in defence and attack. And apparently we found success with this man when we had a fee agreed with Benfica reportedly for around £50 million and apparently that was accepted. Now, with over just 12 hours to go until the winter deadline closes, it's claimed that the deal will be difficult to complete, which, again, I always talk when we do these shows, and I always think to myself, you know, when I saw the Nunes deal link come through and I realised that he's currently playing, he's on international duty with Uruguay in South America doing the World Cup qualifiers, how are we going to get this deal over the line? especially being £50 million. Now, I know clubs like Liverpool and Newcastle have sent out representatives from their clubs to complete relevant um, transfers and medicals with players like Luis Diaz and Bruno Guimarães, who have just signed for Newcastle and Liverpool, respectively. But it seems surely too late in the day to try and complete a £50 million deal with only 12 hours to go for a player. And it looks like we're potentially going to miss out. But I can't help. I, honestly, I can't help but think that there's loads of smoke and mirrors here because in the last three or four days, or in the last three days in particular, you're talking about a £50 million bid for Rafinha, a £50 million bid for Calvin Phillips, and a £50 million bid for Nunes. I, I, it doesn't add up to me. It really doesn't add up to me. This is, I, I, And I can, only, I can only but think that it's, 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 it's stories put out there to deflect from who they really are really want or to try and drive other clubs in that direction and I mean another player we can look at and, and talk about right now is um, Ekitigiki um, who apparently has now agreed a deal to join Newcastle and this is a prime example of West Ham's transfer windows we look at a player, we scout a player, we put a keen interest in it, the rumour comes out from the club, we talk about him, we look at what he's capable of doing and then the next minute Newcastle have agreed a fee with the player, now I'm not going to lie to you, don't know a huge amount about him, but you can see here um, from some of his stats what what kind of player he is. He's had 20 games this season. He scored eight goals, four assists. Um, and, the, and the year before, um, you know, is he a one-season wonder for the amount of money? However, there are a lot of pundits out there that are saying they're heavily excited by um, Ikatiki and what he potentially could offer to the Premier League. But it looks like we potentially missed out on that deal as well. But does that leave the door open for us to go and sign other players that we just haven't either been linked to or have previously been linked to? And have to, Because, I mean, think about it. How many players have we been linked to? It's ridiculous, the amount of players that we have. But when you're talking about Diaz, um, 
Tori Darwin Nunes. Um, he's a great player. He's 22 years old. And so far this season, he's scored 20 goals in 26 appearances in all competitions for Benfica this season. So can you see that deal coming on? I mean, I can. I can't see how we physically could get that deal over the line. B being with where he is, where he's at, Moyes, has he met him? You know, does he pass the characteristic test for what David Moyes is, is thinking about? I just don't see the deal happening. And I, would Nunes want to come to West Ham? You know, banging in the goals left, right and centre. He's looking at Champions League football. We don't have Champions League football. I don't doubt for a second we need to be trying to attract a player of that quality. I do think he's a quality player. And I do think his attributes suit the West Ham style of play. But I don't actually think this deal is a realistic deal. And over the last three days, there's £150 million worth of bids, supposedly, according to reports being put out there, which doesn't rest easy with me because I don't know if I believe it. That's where I'm genuinely and truthfully at. Um, I, I don't know if we've actually put £150 million of bids in in the January. I mean, that would be a ridiculous amount of money. And um, and the players, I mean, you think to yourself, why are Leeds going to sell Calvin Phillips and Rafinha? It's going to take a lot more than that to sell them as well. Um on top of that, though, I mean, one player I think we need to keep an eye out for today is uh, Arigi from Liverpool. He, It's an opportunity here now for Liverpool to do one more last cash-in on the player. Um, his contract is due to expire in the summer, although it will automatically be extended by 12 months if he triggers a clause by playing a certain number of matches. He'd certainly add firepower to West Ham's squad, having found the back of the net 63 times over the course of his full um, club career and we are looking to break into the top four and travel for sil uh, challenge for silverware and which is something the six foot one front man has won plenty of after getting his hands on four trophies including the Premier League Champions League um, during his time with Liverpool he's got 31 caps with Belgium and he also boosts lo boasts loads and loads and loads of Premier League experience in the competition with over 100 appearances in the Premier League for the season another player whom i see that we should be looking at however it's coming down to the wire it is literally coming down to the wire and and, and i just really hope we can try and get something over the line there's loads of people in the comments i'm going to jump into the comments but i want to also kind of address that maybe you know maybe the key element of of players we need to keep an eye on today so obviously the, the Nunes thing. I mean, I really don't think we can see this one happening. He's Uruguayan international. He's currently in South America. I just can't really see this one coming over the line. Now, rumours are today saying that if West Ham do bring in Coletta Carr from Marseille, that we could be willing to offload Diop to Newcastle for upwards of 13, 14 or 15 million pounds, which would be a loss. But I don't know where I'm at with this one, to be honest. These are deals that we maybe need to keep an eye out on for, but I don't doubt for a second Newcastle are interested in the young lads. But I can't see this one coming over the line. However, keep an eye on it as well. Longello is subject to interest from Nottingham Forest. Um, they are potentially trying to work on a permanent transfer. Um, I think we potentially are keen on a loan. However, they may be testing the resolve of West Ham and maybe offering over the odds for the young player. I would be really disappointed if we saw the back of him, to be honest, because I'm not just basing this upon his Europa, Europa League performance where he played really well, but basing this on watching him and a lot of the other youngsters. And I've been, we've, you know, on this channel in particular, we've been going on a lot about the under-23s and what they're capable of offering to the club. So, you know, for one million or two million pounds, is it really worth it to get rid of someone who could be the next best thing coming out of the club who could play in the full-back position? Another player to look out for today is Alessi. We think he'll be heading out the door, not on a permanent deal, though, on loan. The centre-back um, is the captain of the under-23s, has been performing and is a fantastic left-footed central defender. Um, I'm really excited about this guy. And if he's not going to get game time immediately, then good, go out, go and get the loan experience for the six months, come back and challenge for your place next season as well. Um, there are more players I want to keep an eye on, and they are players like Jonathan David. However, I can't see how we would get someone like him over the line. Calvert-Lewin was linked to us earlier in the, the, the thing. Um, Jesse Lingard's saga may end today. Whose shirt will he be wearing come the end of the transfer window. Now, we have seen loads of stuff coming out from his agent brother, um, Louis, who's been posting a lot of stuff online on his social media platforms. And he's been saying things like um, Lingard needs to be released on day release or when this time last year when he signed for West Ham. 
and he put a quotation up saying out on day release. So, you know, obviously they are pushing for a move. Um, he's been, he went back to Manchester United after a successful loan spell with West Ham and it didn't work out for him and he never got he got promised a lot of things and it never actually turned into anything so he's not going to get some game time i wonder if there's something to be done with the jesse lingard saga um it would be an interesting one to see um braj i don't see that one happening from southampton diaz from blackburn they would have to be giving up their kind of promotional ability as well and the fact that he's banging in goals at international level will just inflate his prices warrell from nottingham forest that could be one to keep an eye out for because then um, there could be a deal done there with langello and, and and warrell from nottingham forest as well nat phillips from liverpool is looking for first team football that's another one to keep an eye out on uh coletta car of course we're fully expecting i mean i am fully expecting us to put this deal over the line today and make this a permanent transfer so Fingers crossed we can, and I am really excited about what he can potentially um, bring. Etiki, Etiki um, looks like he's on his way to Newcastle, um, and Inesri from Sevilla, which I highly doubt would happen. And I wouldn't even be surprised if you keep an eye on this one, because there's been a big falling out um, with Sam Johnston and West Brom, uh, and of course he is up for a free transfer uh, at the summer. So you never know how this window can go and where it's going to happen. We are going to do a transfer show later on, but let me jump into the comments to see what everyone is saying here. Does the manager lack ambition to build in a success with new signings? New players only increases expectations of the owners and supporters. I feel like we have judged Moyes before before the 11 o'clock deadline because if we do bring in if we do bring in three players have we have, have we jumped the gun to because i think we think we should be bringing the players in early but Moyes has continually said and lots of other managers have continually said that there are always like there's problems in signing players in the january transfer window some teams don't find the problems and some teams do um i was listening to the story about diaz signing for liverpool that was their summer target however Another club made a smaller offer and they were worried they were going to lose out on him. So they had asked if someone comes in and makes an offer, give us first dibs at him. And they took the first dibs and they had to bring the player in early, but they had never planned to bring Diaz in this early. So I'm hoping that we do bring players. I, I can't see, Moyes does know we need players. And I hope he's not stubborn, but I would be disappointed if come this window, we don't bring in a couple of players. Yes, I want them early. Yes, it would have helped to bring them early. But maybe he's been working on something all along and we've just got to trust in the process and let's judge it at 11 o'clock tonight. That's that's the best way I could see it. I say that as a big Moyes fan, but this window has been a shambles. But Bonnie, has it been a shambles if we bring the players in? This is where I say, like, are we judging too early? Um, Patrick, football club is a joke. Toby Sampson's in the house. Good to see you, mate. Patrick is saying Origi is not good enough. The thing is, though, I actually think his style of play would be good. I'm surprised we haven't gone for him a lot earlier. But then again, we have to also think about, are Liverpool going to um, want to do a deal with West Ham, just like the Manchester United side with um, with uh, Jesse Lingard as well? Dealey, Roy Race, incoming from Melchester Rovers, <laughs> Robin Wilson, Morning Anton and Clever Lang. We are doing wonderful as football compared to high spending Tottenham Arsenal and Man United. Yep, Alfie is saying, don't want Origi. Um <laughs> Uh, Fabrizio Romano has just tweeted Benny McCarthy having a medical. Here we go. Uh, Patrick is saying, can't wait for Declan Rice to leave in the summer. Um, Moyes, David is saying, Moyes is a mid to lower table prem manager and has no real ambition to be anything more. Even he probably can't actually believe what he's done in the last 18 months. Who doesn't gauge interest before bidding? I, I, again, I can't judge him until this season. To me, this window is really important because we have progressed and it's about how we can support that team to progress further. There's no way in anyone's right mind you could look at our bench and go, right, we've got strength there, and they can change games to the level of what Manchester United were able to do against us last time we played. This club has no ambition at all. BRDC, of course, Newcastle get Etikiki, Etikiki when we've been linked to him for ages. That's just how the things go. Alfie, where are you seeing Nunes deal accepted? I haven't seen that anywhere. No, it's... um. The, the, the reports were saying that it was suggested that it was accepted, but I don't, It's the deal's not going to happen, Alfie. Realistically, it's not going to happen. He lives in, he's in South America on international duty, and um, we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, David saying it's all bollocks. Anton made up bids for players who'll never come to fake ambition and shut us plebs up. We've probably got a 250 million bids as well. 
But there could be that smoke and mirrors, mate. Like if we, you know, we could be seen at the end of the transfer window, three players signing for the club. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put the positive spin on it rather than being negative. And if, if we don't sign someone, I'll, I'll be a bit, I will be disappointed. And a video tomorrow might look a bit different to what it is today. Medical can be done later from Daniela. Alfie, he rejected us. Globalization, it can now be done. Um, I never expected Moyes to do so well at West Ham. We should be happy with the work he has done. We shouldn't judge Moyes on the basis of lack of transfers. Uh, Phantom bids goes to say Manchester United Academy. Oh, let's not say that. Sorry, Bonnie. Uh, Christian, you're correct, but our squad is thin and we have European football to contend with. We need at least two players for bench at least. Um, Justine is saying, come on, you irons. Adam Cook saying, good morning, everyone. Bonnie saying, our two subs every game are Yamalenko Masuaku. Daniela Stewart, Etikiki. It's 19. Should we have a young player we can use first? I, I, this guy does look like he's, potent, he's got a lot of potential. However, he has only really performed for one season. So you've got that potential for one season wonder. Um, but sometimes when you're talking about a young player like that who's got ambition, that's what the, that's the going rate. That's what you need to pay. We've definitely not put in £150 million worth of bids. I completely agree with you. That's why I do think there's that kind of smoke and mirrors, and I do think a lot of stuff's been fed out to media to take us off the track and, and push us off the track. How f I mean, uh, do you know what? If, if come at 11 o'clock, we sign three players, of which one of them we know and two of them we don't know in terms of who we haven't been linked to, I would love that more, to be honest, because it would just show us that all the stuff we've been saying is just absolutely ridiculous. We should be careful if we sign Jesse because he's, oh, don't, the ghost, come on. Why am I putting that up? Uh, don't make a regate, but if we get him, we'll fully support him and hope he proves me wrong. Not difficult. Bonnie is saying Moyes is far too picky. He treats the club uh, money like his weekly shopping budget. Alex Chapman rumours Chelsea bid 120 million for. That's not happening, mate. Morning, everyone. Ryan, hope you're well. David, literally the only club in the world football that will have out pants pulled down by Newcastle and actually sell them a player at a loss. But we've become used to that as well. Uh, David and... <laughs> Come on, that's all. Uh, it will be stupid if Newcastle Nick Hugo Ikitikiki because we put in a loan. We need to spend the 25 million and stop us around with loan deals. We ain't signing anyone from Jamie. Let's be honest, if anything, collect a cart and only him. Reese is in the house. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, Lewin, David, Inesri, or Brereton Diaz, at least. Be... I'm just talking about the links. I'm not saying we're bringing them in. I'm just saying they're the ones we've been linked to and I'm ruling them out as we go along. I don't think we'll bring Cavalier in. I don't think we'll bring David in. I don't think we'll bring in Esri in. Um, and Diaz, no, because they're on a promotion push for Blackburn. I'm just giving you the kind of thoughts of ones we should look out for and ones we shouldn't look out for. Uh, Daniela, if I was uh, any club, I would wait till 2023 to sign Rice and hope he does not sign a new contract. That is when we will be doping the price by then. Uh, Ironclad, sometimes you go early with a transfer and something better comes along so valid point let the games begin absolutely patience patience is key um aditya is saying collect car was about to be done but then west ham started chopping loan 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 and now even that is going to be over well let's hope it's not yankee is saying hi all father snowman good to see you jamie i have a feeling we'll get the up goal for eight million and not replace him david that's an overreaction you're not even big enough club to be what's that for i don't know what that's in um Let's see here. West Ham can't even get a top manager. They tried Pellegrini. What happened? At Pellegrini, I mean, back in his day was. He was in China, though, when we signed him. And I don't know if he was going to be a top-class manager. But it's not about top-class manager. It's about finding the right manager um, and, and and bringing the right manager into the club. And, and Moyes has been doing that so far. So I'm not going to fall in this trap of if we don't sign a player, I'm going to go against Moyes. I'll be disappointed. But I'm still trusting in what Moyes and the process is. Um, but I don't see how we can go through this window again and not strengthen in certain areas because when, when, when we blatantly need to. Hi, everyone. Newcastle are gathering up the strays. They are. They're desperate. I mean, I'm seeing stuff getting updated as we go here. Their spending could be £120 million. Pounds. They're looking at um, Target from Aston Villa as well as another player coming in. David is saying not spending early bin the window has cost us four six million and drop points in January, not to mention probably blowing the Champions League and the best opportunity to generally transform the club. The thing is, though, David, I don't know if bringing players in and they, if they don't have immediate impacts, how they, how you know, and how will they make that impact straight away? I think there's only particular players that might be able to make that impact. And when we have Jesse Lingard, he was never due to start the game against, against Aston Villa. Um, it was due to an injury, I think it was, to Antonio was the reason why Jesse Lingard started the game. Nobody expected Jesse Lingard to start the game and start off his career the way that he did um, with us as well. You can get a player 
uh, to sign over Zoom. So signing to him wouldn't be an issue. We could arrange medical for a later date, but if they're saying it's unlikely, it's definitely more like he's not coming. No, yeah, absolutely, Jamie, but he's not coming, mate. He's not coming. He's got a lot of ambition as well. And I get we have to understand him, but they're going to be tough players to bring in. Um, is it a definite on Coletta Carr? I mean, we're led to believe it's really close. I mean, really reputable French reporters, people who pretty much are bang on, are saying that the deal was there to be done. So it's 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 for me now, it's just down to West Ham to fluff it up, which we are very capable of doing. Richard, hope you're well. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> Jack Wilshire is on. Oh, I love wish list deadline day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, mate. I mean, if you talk about all the players that we've been linked to, it's ridiculous amount of players. Love our glass half empty fans. Moan if we don't buy anyone, but when we do, they moan the signing is the worst ever. It's funny though, because you've got that and then you've got the, the half glass full, but we're all entitled to opinion, I suppose, at the end of the day. And as long as we just don't argue about it, that's the main thing. Uh, David Moyes is the right fit for West Ham. Adam Cook is there with... Uh... Morning, Anton. I think we're all on the same boat here and that we're linked with every player going. All we want to see is actual signing. Shows the lack of ambition from the board. Well, let's just see if we do bring someone in. A regain the time frame is the most likely. Same against agent as Antonio and Creswell. Let's hope so. I am glad we have an opportunity to achieve this season. We've never been this good in the modern era. So building on that is all... We ask. Morning, everyone from Tony, who's excited that we're signing no one. Uh, Anton, have we put all our eggs in two baskets on deadline day? Possibly. Um, Mandy, possibly, if you're thinking about the Lingard and the um, Coletta Card deal. Possibly. But again, I'm just going to have to put the faith in. I mean, we, nobody expected the, the Alphonse Areola deal to get put over the line, and, and we got it over the line. So, yeah, it's, it's something to be interested in. Moyes is a top manager. Let's have none of this patronising right fit nonsense. Yep, there you go. So, I mean, Players to keep an eye out for me, to, in all honesty, today are um, actually I wouldn't be surprised. This is this is my opinion on it, right? I just keep an eye on the Sam Johnson situation. I don't know. I, I'm I'm really kind of could be making something up here, but he's had a big argument with the West Brom um, management team, and we could potentially see something happen. It probably won't, but you never know. It's definitely worthwhile keeping an eye on. And um, we believe Etiquette has agreed a deal to go to Newcastle, so that will be off for a West Ham mindset. Coletta Carr looks like he will come over the line and become a West Ham player unless West Ham have the ability to fluff it up. You never know. Keep an eye on Nat Phillips. A loan to buy deal might be on the cards. Obviously, we're looking at someone to strengthen in that defensive area and it could be a loan deal. We think we are going to be in the loan market. I wouldn't be surprised if we keep an eye on Joel Warrell as well. He could be another player that could come in, especially with the fact that Longello is linked to Nottingham Forest. So there could be some form of deal to take place there. Um, Jesse Lingard saga will continue today, but we could see that um, not be completed today and we could see that be completed in the summer at some point as well. Uh, and then finally, Nunes, which I can't see West Ham getting over the line today. £50 million. Pounds. He's in South America playing for uh, Uruguay and I just cannot see how we can get that deal over the line. But join us um 12.30 where Russ will be doing another roundup of some more transfer players and, and why David Moyes is looking in particular areas. Go and check that out. And tonight we'll be doing the transfer special on the deadline day and it will be loads of guests coming on. But I honestly think we put the faith in what Moyes is doing and we judge come 11 o'clock and see what's going to happen. Short and sweet show for you today. Players to keep an eye on. I mean, I've seen this one, Harley, the, the Costa, a free agent, as long as his attitude is okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll be interested. Father Snowman, Man United have said Lingard will go in this window this morning. Uh, going to take the talk out half an hour. I hope we don't miss all the, the signings. Yep, absolutely. As well, um, prefer Ariola to Johnston, pricier, but more quality. Mandy, my two baskets were Coletta Nunes. Jesse is 100% as no man you know, won't let him join us just now. As long as we strengthen the team, it's a good window, but we need at least two players. Uh, strange how the media are reporting Lingard has agreed personal terms with Newcastle, but the clubs haven't agreed anything absolutely listen thanks for joining us join us at 12 30 and we'll see you soon and fingers crossed we bring in some players come on you irons <laughs>